welcome to the update of our subject and theme that we've been looking at, the power of the word, or the power of words. Solomon tells us in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And the experiment we did, we were looking at how words have impact, and we looked at how words have impact on water, which we looked at from a scientific perspective. And if you look down at these three jars that we had already shown uh, a little while ago on through transmitting through YouTube and through our website, discover that the one that was said, I hate you, is murky, continuing to discolor, becoming brown, uh, murky kind of color. The middle one, which was told, I love you, is becoming even more crystal clear, clear and transparent. The one which was not spoken to has even become more darker and more murky. And we see through this, these, these three jars that each one is changing in relation to its environment and the words that had been spoken over them or had not been spoken over them. The one on my left, this one here, the more murky one, darker browny one, had not been spoken to. Whereas the one on my right was told, I hate you. And it's triggered off a, a sequence to bring about this, this outcome. The one which was told, said, I love you, also was triggered off to, to a, a, a particular sequence of, and brought it to a particular outcome. And it's powerful. Just giving you this update, you can refer back to the first video footage and then connect this one to this. This is the 17th of March, 2013. And this experiment began on the 1st of January of 2013. Pray that this will help us to think and reflect and meditate on how we use words. So let's use our words to edify, to encourage, to build people up, as opposed to criticize, uh, condemn, and insult people. Let's bless people and be blessers, and that we reap the fruits of the blessings that we give out. God bless you until we come together again. The peace of God with you. Amen.